Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here and you didn't know already, my name is Tara and I just want to thank you so much for being here. A video talking about all of my favorite, more affordable drugstore highlighters. So I just want to talk really quickly about what I look for in a highlighter. I don't like <clears throat> excess glitter unless it's like Anastasia glitter highlighters, if that makes sense. I like my texture to not be super emphasized. I like the kind of wet look and I like a happy medium. I don't like it too dull, but I don't like it too intense either, if that makes sense. Maybe not. But without further ado, let's just jump right into it. We're gonna start with Wet n Wild because I think they took the internet by storm with their Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powders. And now they have like a ton of them. These are just some of the ones I have. So this is White Raven. Now I will say the formula does change up. So this is White Raven, this is a limited edition color and this is more of like an iridescent. Then this is Lilac to Reality, which is this one right here. And then they have more wearable shades, like this is Bot Botanic Dream, which is this one right here. And then Blossom Glow is another more wearable one, which mine has seen better days. So that is all of them. And then I also love their um, new highlighting Platinum Bar. And this is the lightest shade, this is Winter Blossom of their highlighting bar, platinum bar, highlighting platinum bar. And this is actually one shade here, one shade in the star, and then you can mix them and get your own custom shade. And I've talked about this highlighter before, so these are all three of the shades you can get. This is honestly, this color right here is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy highlighter. It is so good and beautiful. I have it on right now. I love these two highlighter formulas from Wet n Wild. They're so affordable. They're like under five bucks. There's literally a highlight for any skin tone, whether you like wearable highlight, colorful highlight, like there's literally something for everybody. I know that this one's limited edition and this one's limited edition, but they're always coming out every holiday season of basically new versions of colorful highlights to kind of go with the season. And then like I said, they have the more wearable colors. I honestly love the highlighting platinum bar formula over the regular highlighting powder. Now they also make a liquid highlight. I wasn't a big fan of that. And they also made a loose highlight and I wasn't a big fan of that because it was basically like glitter. Um, but these are just so good. Wet n Wild knocks it out of the park with their highlighters. The next brand I want to talk about is Makeup Revolution and this is the Vivid Baked Highlighter. And this is in the shade Radiant Lights. First of all, the pattern is just really pretty, but the actual highlight itself is just absolutely stunning. And it doesn't really look like much, but on the skin, it just gives that really nice glow from within. Next up, I have the Physician's Formula. What are you called? I think it's the, sh oh, the Warm Nude, and I want to say it's the Shimmer Brick. <sighs> My kids have gotten into this, so it looks a little messy. But these also can be used as highlight um, as eyeshadows too but like look at that and it's just like that metallic wet from within type of look like I said that I like it's just so pretty and you can literally just dip your highlight brush into you know one single shade or you can customize your own shade so you have everything from like a really white color to like pink to like a little warm peach and it's just so good it melts into the skin never buy physicians formula for full price because they always have like buy one get one half off or buy one get one free wait for a sale and that's when you need to shop physicians formula like a hundred percent next up I have and I'm sure no one's shocked by this color pop super shock highlighters so I have the shades lunch money fire and on the cusp now fire, fire is a little bit too dark for me. 
these are just so like they're just like you can you see my fingerprint in that like they're just so they're not they're not a powder but they're not a cream either and they just blend into the skin so beautifully like oh and then on the cusp this one I can get away with it's this one right here which is right there which is more of like a champagne gold this is more of like an orange copper gold an orange copper this is more of like a copper color fire <laughs> go figure the name and then lunch money I've done my damage on lunch money lunch money and this is more of I would call this more of like a very light champagne it's just oh they're just so pretty they're great for the no makeup makeup days you just take it tap it on with your finger these are really pretty as eyeshadows like they're super shock eyeshadows they're so affordable they're so good I absolutely love ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Shadows. I wasn't really a big fan of their pressed highlights, the ColourPop pressed highlights, but these are so good. I want to pick up the highlighting palette that they just came out with for the holidays, and it has four different Super Shock Cheek. I want it. I bought this, and at first I wasn't super excited about it. It's the Pixie by Petra um, Glowy glossamere duo and this is in subtle sunrise so this is what it looks like it's super pretty I'm trying to get it so you guys can see it I hate my lighting sorry I'm bringing it so close you guys but like my lighting just sucks so bad at first I was like mm, I didn't really like it but I had to find the right brush to apply this I mean this is like intense and I normally don't like intense but when I was applying it when I first got it, it wasn't coming off super intense. It was coming off more like just flecks of glitter. And like I just said, I'm not a big glitter person. But when I was swatching it, it was coming off super metallic. So I found a really dense brush. Like something like, where are you? But something like the Anastasia highlighting brush. Or like this BH Cosmetics, um number four brush something like that and it applies this so beautifully and it just looks so wet on the skin my last highlighter more affordable highlighter that i want to talk about is the flower beauty and i'm sure you guys have seen me use this on my channel because i love it the flower beauty shimmer and strobe highlighting palette these are so good you guys like they're so freaking good like so good so you have like your really light almost champagne but still pinky rose gold kind of situation and you have like a nice pink and then you have a nice gold and there the gold is a little bit too dark for me but they're so pretty I've definitely done my damage on the light one right here like there's literally an indent on that like it, it's pretty but like they're just so freaking pretty and they just melt right into the skin they oh, don't emphasize texture any more than they need to you know some highlighters they just emphasize more texture these do not they're just so freaking beautiful and you can find flower beauty um, online at Ulta you can find them uh, at Walmart this is literally the best flower beauty product I've tried out and I really need to try some more flower beauty products out so anyways I really hope you enjoyed this really quick video about my favorite more affordable drugstore highlighters if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments below what your favorite more affordable highlighter is because I'm always looking to try new affordable products in general let alone highlighters and yeah, if you like me and like my vibe, don't forget to subscribe and I really hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.